वेलकम वेलकम टू बिजनेस एनलिस्ट गुरु अनदर वीडियो ऑन द सीक्वल सीरीज दैट वी ट्राइंग टू कीप अप विद दिस इज अनदर सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज दैट हैव स्टार्टड इनिशिएटिंग हैविंग अ वीकली सेशन रादर दैन वेट फॉर मंथ्स एंड मंथ्स टू क्रिएट वन इट्स टेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ कमिटमेंट टू डू इट बट हे इट्स ऑल वर्थ इट एज लॉन्ग एज इट इज हेल्पिंग यू गाइज टू अचीव द गोल्स दैट यू हैव फॉर यू सेल्फ सो वी इनिशिएट यू वी टॉक अ लिटल बिट अबाउट what are those key things that you need to understand from the sql infrastructure perspective how is the information structured in a database right we understood the table we understood the columns or the fields we understood the rows or the records we understood how can i make sure that i am able to isolate a specific row in that table using the primary key and then we also understood how we can talk about foreign key and make the dbms which is database management system into a relational database management system which is our dbms right that was one next step uh, which made the information much more readable so now let's try and understand as a ba what are the specific scenarios where it would be useful or uh, what is it that is going to help us to isolate or corner a position with this additional knowledge how am i going to talk about it so business analysis is all about helping the development team nowadays things have become more and more complicated from perspective of the client needing everything from the ba so some of the examples or scenarios that i have used database for uh, there was a project where we were trying to assess whether the application that we have created is going to be able to allow more than a thousand people to log in synchronously it was an intranet uh, website that we had created but the intranet people were around 600 employees that could possibly log in at the same time so why you might ask we want to test whether it is uh, applicable for thousand today there are 600 employees the company is on a growth path it is anticipating that in the next 2 years 5 years it probably is going to hit 1000 people so we want to test it at that level so that tomorrow if i hire 10 more people i don't want the system to crash right so coming back why database my role over there was to use the data structure that was already existing create a parallel table about the employees replicate the records i did not want to use the real employees these were just test records that i had to use to make sure that we could test these test employees logging into our system if i did not understand this database concept it would have been very difficult i would have to rely on a database developer to go through and provide me the infrastructure or the messages that are necessary for me to take care of it having that nuance available and taken care of me i was able to finalize that particular functionality so what is that answer that you need to provide someone asks you in an interview setting as a business analyst where would you rate your database skills at here is what i say here is what you should say if you are at the level where i am at uh, i am not a database developer by any means i don't have the syntax memorized i've been through interviews where they will give you a pen and paper and ask you to write a query on blah blah and blah i can write out the complete logic of why or how it's going to be done. but if you expect me to do syntax book i'm done i'm not your guy so here is the answer that i would want you to say if you are in the same boat like me if you are good at syntax you could even go one step further than what i have to say but here is what i say now i am good at understanding the logic associated with the relational database management system i would rate myself anywhere between 5 5 and a half on a scale of 10 if no resources are awarded or provided me like google or any third party service where i can associate or grab the syntax but if you allow me to use these tools to understand and grab the syntax i would rate myself 7 and a half 8 because i know the kind of question that need to be asked google by itself will not automatically give me the answer i need to know the question that is going to provide me the answer so that's how i can rate myself much higher 
if you're expecting me to be a developer working on stored procedure trigger, I could probably do it, but I'll not be the most efficient person to take care of that specific job. That's how I would come up with an answer or a response, right? I hope this really helps uh, anyone who's struggling with that answer as well. This answer could be utilizing any tool that is necessary for a BA to take care of. Any tool could be utilized in that same manner that, hey, I have knowledge about it. I, I know what that tool is. I have heard or talked with my friends about it, but I have not gotten my hands dirty using that specific tool. All right. A little more thing or concept that I would like to further talk about. I also want to talk about the select query. We use the select query for extraction. We are trying to get data from the database, right? That is very important. It is very simple depending on the level of complexity you add to it. So at the initial stages, if you're just extracting data from one table using a few parameters here and there, it's not a big deal. Uh, as and when more data or more tables are incorporated, you combine them together and try to extract very specific scenario based data in a specific format. It get, keeps getting uh, you know more and more complex. It's like this. When you're trying to build a Lego house, which is small, uh, meant specifically for say age group zero to three, it's going to be simple. But suddenly if you go to that same Lego and so you have a Taj Mahal set that you could bring your uh, way, which costs exorbitant, like 200 or $300, I could, don't quote me on this, but uh, that is going to be super complex because you have to think about so many things and take care of it from there. So if you understand the basics, you can do the complex things. If you don't understand the basics, you can never get there. It's like this, you know, mathematics. If you understand the basic principles, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, there are so many things that you could do after that using those basic principles. But if those are not present, it doesn't matter how good or how, uh, you know, much effort you put in, it's still going to be something that is short of how we are going to take care of it, right? So select query. Select is a query that we use to extract information. One of the most simplest query is select star from table name. Whatever is the table name? Let's say the table name is employee table, for example. As soon as you say select star from employee, you are getting in, uh, into a mode where you are pulling out all the information that is present in that table. No filters, no prioritization, no visual, uh, you know, distinction of how you're going to throw out the information. Everything is going to be thrown out as it is shown you, uh, you know, the way it is. So let's say if you do it for a big company like Microsoft, Oracle or Walmart, you'll probably have hundreds of thousands of records, right? Because they have so many number of employees. If they are including past employees as well that have quit the company and are no longer working over there, that might that number might run in millions because these companies have been in existence for years and years, right? So select star from table name is something that you use to extract all the information from that table. Awesome. So what if the table has like 50 columns or 50 fields? Employee name, employee date of birth, employee structure, employee designation, employee salary, employee address, employee phone number, employee this, employee that, blah, blah, blah. The whole uh, detailed uh, uh, association or, or information associated with that particular employee. Then if I do select star from and do employee, it does not make sense. It's very difficult for me to go through so much information when I want very specific piece of information, right? Let's say if I just want the list of names with their date of birth, that's all I want. If I do select star from it's easy, but man, the date of birth could be like maybe the last field that is available. So for the name, and then I would have to look at the field, you know, scroll through the right hand side and get there to uh, actually see the date of birth. Why do I have to do that? SQL provides you an easier option. 
instead of looking at all the fields i could extract the specific fields that i feel that are going to be important for me for example if i want only the name and date of birth right instead of putting that asterisk when i say select star i'm talking about the asterisk don't uh, it's visible in one of the examples that i might have added post production so select star is going to give you all the fields instead of the star get rid of the star and say select employee name comma employee date of birth from employee what that will do is now i'm going to exclude all the information except employee name comma employee date of birth because that is all i want from that uh, specific table so if that is the scenario that you are trying to think about that's how you are going to try and achieve a very specific field of view of how we are going to take care of that right great so we have learned how i can pull out all the data or i can pull out some of the data but we still are extracting all the records right so in case of walmart or uh, microsoft it would still give me millions of rows right it will still give me the data that is so much let's say if i'm looking for few people for example now from those millions of uh, people let's say the ask is i'm not too worried about uh, people that are no longer with us i'm only looking for current employees for example the current data set is giving me everything right from day 1 when the company started i have the records of all the employees which i have maintained in my database uh, so i have maybe about 70 to 80% of people that are no longer working with me for whatever reasons now to help me isolate see in the first the difference between the first query and second query was we got rid of some of the fields that were not necessary for me right we reduced from 50 fields we reduced it to two fields now the two fields still had all the records so the rows were still consistently present all across how do i go from having let's say two fields but a million records to maybe two fields and just you know 100000 records which are my current employees okay so how do we do that now the way we are going to do that there is another clause that you need to add to the query there is a clause called where clause w h e r e right it is very much like the language or uh, the the actual utility of it in english where this and this and this where is used for conditioning right or uh, you know where is this so over here it is more in sql it is more associated with what kind of conditioning you want to apply with this particular tool so as soon as you add the where clause you can add any condition associated that will filter out the number of records rows that are pertinent matching or meeting the condition associated in the where clause so let's rework this particular query right i say the first query first query was select star from employee next was select employee name comma employee date of birth from uh, employee which reduce the fields now from uh, employee after that i add or append where employee status is current right what you can say is is equal to current uh, or is like and then you can put it in the quotes as current or even better let's say i want to understand uh, all the employees that have spent more than 5 years with our company right so i'd say where employee tenure greater than sign 5 what will it do is even though i don't see the employee tenure as the field i will automatically get rid of all the employees that are less than 5 years current or past i will see only people that have spent more than 5 years maybe it will get reduced from million records to maybe you know 1000 or 2000 records for people that are really really with me now my a uh, range of information that i have to go through has reduced significantly right 
that's what i need that's what is going to help or enable any decision maker to decide on what he wants to take care of we have to understand that just because you have so much information it's not always good if you have to go through so many records to decide who to provide that additional bonus or who to provide a promotion you'd go crazy you'd go nuts you need ways by which i i don't want to see a million like i want to see those 100 files so i can spend maybe an hour on each profile and see who is qualifying for that extra bonus or promotion and take care of it from there now when i reduce it to a thousand file maybe in a month or two i would be able to do that if i have a million i'll probably need 10 years to complete that particular you know functionality so that's how what we did was first we reduce the fields by selecting specific field that we want and not just saying select star from second when we added the where clause we reduce the number of rows or records that are available from there now with the where clause there are so many functionalities that you could look for you can on a numerical data field you can do equal to less than greater than and so on on character based fields like for example let's say if you are looking for a specific department uh, a specific country city what not there you won't have numbers right so there you could do things like uh, there is a concept called like where you can go through it you have wild cards that you could use where you could have functionality associated with that you could have a concept called as in uh, so that you could give it a range and say that okay the answer has to be within this particular range uh, with the numbers you could also have between where you could say between 5 and 10 let's say you don't want anyone who's beyond 10 years because he's going to be super senior so you don't want to add that particular functionality so a lot of ways through which you can filter out the data I'm not going to go through all those in detail uh, there is a website for uh, this called w3schools.com I'll post the link uh, in the description of this particular video so it will help you to go through the functionality but the base concept that I wanted to go through over here is understand how you should answer a database related question second how are you going to use the extraction language so selects and then how are you going to reduce the range of information whether it's from the field or from the rows you can use it both by adding where clause to your you know functionality so that's what we wanted to take care of so awesome hopefully this video also helps you guys to start your journey and expedite your process of learning SQL because uh, it is not a must have okay always understand there are so many jobs that you could survive without knowing SQL but hey you know having that as a feather in your cap is always going to be better knowing that will include those many positions to which you can apply if you have a thousand position to apply by learning SQL if it could add another 500 position to apply hey you know that 50% raise in the number of jobs is only going to help you it will make you a valuable resource going forward where you could ask for more salary where you could ask for a better uh, position better working conditions and so on so keep learning uh, it is something that is very important we will go through in our next session about joins what are joins joins are a little tad complicated so i'd like to dedicate the whole session about what the joins are so carry on uh, be cognizant of the fact that that video is going to come out next Sunday not this Sunday but next Sunday so that you could go through that particular functionality alright thank you very much for all the accolades guys it helps me a lot it promotes or motivates me to keep doing this please subscribe to my channel like this video so that it gives me an understanding that I am still headed in the same direction.